By working closely with residents, Southampton City Council Housing Services are investing in our estates and delivering results that provide value for money. This film will show some of the highlights of housing services over the past year. See where are we, where are we heading to? That we, way. Over to there. Yeah. What are we going to look at? This is Nick Cross, Southampton City Council's Head of Housing Services. He's come to see for himself the transformation of Holyrood under the Council's Decent Neighbourhoods programme. Um, we have our events here in this bit yep. because we can have the barbecue down there, all the kids can sit round. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. The changes were led by the residents themselves. People were asked to suggest, put their suggestions forward, and from all those suggestions and meetings came these two gardens. And there's bollard lighting, and it really looks brilliant. Magical is the word that's been used by other residents. The Decent Neighbourhood Scheme is absolutely crucial. It's about putting something into the local community so residents can feel proud to say they live on Holyrood or they live in other parts of the city. It's community, it's, it's just everything. Such a difference. Housing's investment in people and communities is creating a lasting legacy. Before, all we had was a horrible bit of green here and that was all stone. You used to come out and sit on there. You had no plants, no nothing. At Ventnor Court, partnerships between housing and tenants have transformed the area. And we've got the sign up saying it's a private garden. It's lovely. Every, anybody can come out here now and sit, can sit out here late in the evening as well. It's intelligent design by the people who know best, the tenants. Everything in the garden is what they chose. We chose the layout of the garden. Landscaping has created an oasis of calm. Vandalism and antisocial behaviour, a distant memory. We hope people will see this and think, oh, Ventnor Court, that's lovely. Wouldn't mind going and live there. Even the younger generation are getting in on the act. Housing has invested in a junior neighbourhood warden scheme. Here in Kingsland, they're planting out the beds. It is fun, skillful and pretty much great. It's been very successful. Over the last year, the number of volunteers has increased to 152. They're all keenly aware of the wider benefits to tenants. They do become a bit more respectful of their um, community around them and um, people do feel happier. One of the key objectives is getting value for money for council tenants. Part of that is the introduction of this total mobile repair scheme. Repair staff use mobile devices to log and receive the work they carry out while still on the road. It saves time by being more efficient. It saves money, which can be invested elsewhere. Very good, a brilliant service. As it's less time consuming, the job gets done. Less time, less money, really. Last year, they carried out over 51,000 repairs. The new scheme is leading to substantial savings and a much improved service. As more council services move online, housing has created the Digital Champions programme. Here, tenants are trained how to use computers and access the services. My role is activity coordinator and I support older people, 60 plus across the city, to use computers. A great friend of mine, lifelong friend, said to me, Don, he said, there's a lady down the end of my road, she's 80 and she's never off of it. He said, take it from me. He said it's a new world. Everything's going online. It's so much easier shopping, emailing people rather than writing letters. Um, it's very difficult, especially for some older people who have mobility problems, to get out and about. And it still gives them some level of independence. Well, at my age, it's given me an interest in life. Get out of the armchair. Get out and do something. These are just some of the ways Southampton's housing services is helping to improve tenants' quality of life. So that lights up. It's, it's brilliant. In all last year, housing services spent £81 million on council homes. From building new homes, to landscaping, and to carrying out repairs. 
Housing Services remains determined to deliver value for money to its tenants. My message to all the residents uh, is that we are trying our best to provide the best service we possibly can based on the rent that you provide us and the feedback you give us. We try very hard to get it right all the time. We don't always get it right and we recognise we make some mistakes. Where we do make mistakes, we want some feedback so we can learn and we can continue to improve the service for years to come.